most of the storms are going to be along the mountains, whatever okay. we do see. So again, just a reminder, keep the kids and stay out of the arroyos yourselves because it doesn't have to be raining on us here in the city for that water to come off the mountains on the thunderstorms and roll right back into the roads. That's how it's designed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Let's go outside and see what's going on right now. 83 degrees, south winds at about 3 miles an hour, 29% on the old relative humidity, and the dew points are sitting near 50, so still plenty of moisture to help fuel those mountain showers and storms. The temperatures in Santa Fe are at 84. It's 87 in Farmington. It's already in the mid-80s in Roswell and already 90 in Clayton, so there's a lot of warm temperatures. The forecast is see it for us as we go through the afternoon. 91 for the high, so it is going to get hot once again. Partly cloudy skies. We could see a few more clouds late in the day. Remember yesterday during the evening how those thunderstorms developed over the mountains and those clouds kind of spilled back over into the valley, into the city? Look for that again. And I think we'll see some gusty winds around those storms. So hopefully around your place, maybe you get a good soaking briefly. Most of it's going to be in the far northeast heights and in the foothills. By evening, if it kind of tails on off, 64 to 67 for the overnight lows from the valley to the heights. Tomorrow, we'll do it all over again. Again, about 91. Again, a chance at an isolated shower or a thunderstorm along the mountains. Here's everything that's going on right now. Notice that circulation. The clouds are coming in, wrapping a back, and then working their way across the Rockies. And that's because a high is almost right on top of us right now. So over the next few days, just looking at the 6 to 10 day precipitation outlook, the western part of the state specifically should be the area that gets the most precipitation. I think that's where the moisture is going to be rolling. And then as we get back into uh, the weekend and next week, we'll start to see it sliding back and forth. This high is a key right now to how much monsoon rains we actually get and who gets them. So if you look at the radar right now, right now the showers and thunderstorms are developing where in the most part? They're developing off to the west. They're staying out there, coming off the mountains, and we're seeing that west of Socorro, Silver City and then extending all the way up south to Grants, further to the north, again coming off the mountains from Dulce, near Chama, back near Española and Cuba. And then you see some that will start to develop now along the Sangre de Cristos. We'll see eventually a spot shower or thunderstorm developing in the metro along the mountains as well. So that's the scenario for the next few days. Well, what happens between now and the 4th of July? Big weekend. Matter of fact, a lot of folks get Friday off as well. Here's the deal. Warm to hot temperatures right now. Isolated storms mostly back to the west. That high is going to inch back off to the east over the next few days, and that should drive enough moisture uh, to produce those showers and storms directly across central New Mexico, as I just showed you, back to the west and to the northwest into Saturday the 4th and especially into Sunday and into Monday. So hopefully we can get the bulk of the day in for the 4th um, without major thunderstorms. It's one day we probably don't want it. And then Albuquerque is looking like it's going to stay around 90 all the way through Sunday and Monday of next week as well. All right. We'll keep our fingers crossed yeah. for a good 4th. Thanks okay. a lot, Mike.